In this chapter, I will define the second exercise you have to do uh, for this week, uh, which is jam puzzle, uh, also called taquin en français. Uh, the jam puzzle is only a small game with, with tills, and the goal is to order tills to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. So there is an empty room, and the goal of the empty room is to move 12 from the top to the uh, bottom, or 15 from uh, the left to the right. Okay, so you can build some new room, and then you can try to resolve your, your problem. Okay, so it's an old game uh, from 1870, and it's a Rubik's Cube Ancestor. So it's a simple game, and you have many ways to do that. Before talking about the ways to do that, you have to know that some configuration cannot be solved. So you will have to detect uh, the end of the game, but I will not ask you to, to build uh, an, intelligence arti uh, an artificial intelligence to solve this, since it's not possible, okay? So, you will have to capture the swipe gesture. Why? A left swipe will allow you to move the till, the only till that can move left. Uh, top to bottom uh, swipe will capture the tills and so on. Okay, Donc, so, so you have to use gesture detector and implement it. You will have also to define your GUI. You have two options to define your GUI. The first one and the preferred one is to use fragments. You use a grid layout which with fragments, and then you can move your different fragments from cells of your grid layout. Otherwise, you can just use text view and to update the text inside of your different uh, views. The, the idea is just to make you understand how to build a more complex uh, GUI. Uh, you have to randomize your tills in order to have uh, an initial state of your uh, game, and you have to detect when the game is up. Okay, so the initial state, you have tills, the gray one represents the empty room, and a swipe will, unlo will only move the only available till for this move. Okay, and you can notify the user that something happens. When this is the end, you can replay. And with this simple game, you can build games that are commercial game. For instance, Temple Run, uh, 124, Candy Crush, and so on. Okay? With just a simple gesture event, this is it. <laughs>